Hello friends and welcome back to Cubcam TV as we jump into the next edition of our top five series. In this series we explore different UK artists and their top five creations, be that instrumental or vocal recordings from different periods of time. I want to send a massive thank you out to everyone who has been supporting the channel and helping it grow. The numbers are looking great and we're really happy with everything that's going on. So please do keep subscribing, liking the page and commenting on the videos. Over the years we have seen bass music evolve a ton as a genre, rolling out of 4x4 niche influence beats and into a much more technical selection of spin-off genres, taking inputs from UK Garage, Tech House, UK Funky, Dubstep and more. This union of styles has left the genre as one of the most exciting melting pots across the entirety of dance music, with My New Len coming out as one of the leading production and DJ outfits. Over the years they have released a number of well thought out EPs, encapsulating the importance of multi-genre influences within bass music, with near enough every release cutting through the scene like a knife through butter. This list therefore was pretty difficult to put together but we have decided to give it a go so let's kick it off with our latest edition of top fives with my new Lang. Number five, Spaced featuring MCGQ. <laughs> Again, we see the most recent addition to our list being the lowest down, with Spaced being the strongest original on My New Leng's Afterlife EP, released via their own imprint, Meraki. As a recording, this one combines numerous different influences, from the old school hardcore synth smacks to the housey drum patterns and thunderous bass textures below. When we hear the legendary MC GQ get busy with his memorable vocal additions on this one, it makes it a piece of rave dynamite applicable for DJs of so many different genres. A solid first track in today's listing for sure. Number four, Contact. Next up on our list, we are jumping back a fair few years as we re-emerge in 2012. It's pretty safe to say that at this point, dance music in the UK was very focused towards Deep House, with the majority of dancers around the country having recently moved away from the dubstep rage. This release was a real breath of fresh air, seeing My New Leng emerge on Black Butter Records with a four-track scorcher of a project. Contact was the title track, and boy did it hit home, pushing the themes of metallic bass design, minimal yet extremely impactful impactful drum creations and an overall spacey feel when it came to the atmospherics. This was a really interesting turning point for UK dance music. Number three, The Grid. As we move further up this list, it gets harder and harder to determine which track goes where, purely because of how strong the upper echelons of Mindy Leng's discography are. You have to remember that most of these tracks were genuinely groundbreaking at the time, exploring areas of dance music that had hardly been touched before. That is why The Grid, released via 877 Records, sits at number three on our list, because this is a tune that broke all the rules. It constantly changes, with the bass instruments rotating every eight bars between super punchy drum routines and a selection of different electronic sounds getting involved as the journey carries on and on. The consistency of variation with this one is something truly special, and that is why it lands at number three in our top five. Number two, Master Plan, featuring Fox. Good vocalists can completely make a dance track. That's been pretty obvious since the dawn of the electronic music era. If there's a phrase I've come to hate in this music business, it is do the vocal. Every dance music track has a vocalist that is perfect for the job, and this is perhaps the finest example of it in modern bass music. Fox is a decorated veteran when it comes to his vocal catalogue, but this may well be the one that stands out the most, as he provides the perfect addition to My New Leng's super choppy drum structures and lethal bass design. It's a track that still grabs the reload to this day, despite the track being released back in 2015, again via the fantastic Black Butter Records during their golden era. Leng's production on this one is also crispy and as unique as ever. And hey, who doesn't love a cowbell, right? Now before we move into the number one on our list, I do want to point out that this list is in fact my personal top five, so if you have any contrasting opinions or different views on my new Leng's top five tracks, please do leave them in the comment section below as I would love to hear your feedback and opinions on the subject. Number one, my new Leng, Taiki and New Light, Levels. <laughs> 
finish off this exciting top five, we again head back into a different era of bass music and back onto the Contact EP. For one of the strongest 4x4 collaborations the UK underground dance music sector has ever seen. Levels is timeless, being both groundbreaking at the time of its release and also a sturdy addition to any DJ's tracklist to this day. It's the simplicity of this one that just hits you, as both Mainu Leng and Taiki and New Light let loose a barrage of super thickened, sub heavy synthesizer lines, the flat yet somehow super groovy 4x4 drum arrangements, and that incredibly catchy vocal sample, which today can cause a ruckus in the dance all on its own. For the fact that it undeniably changed dance music in the UK forever, and the fact it still slaps among any bass driven track listing, there is no doubt in my mind that this one sits at the top of today's top five list. And there we have it, our top five My New Leng tracks. Thank you to everyone who's been locked into this video, and of course everyone who's been checking out the other top top fives on the channel as well. Please do keep hitting the like button on the videos, letting us know your opinions down below, and of course, subscribing to the channel. There are plenty more of these top five videos on the way, so again, if you have any suggestions for artists you want me to cover, please do leave them in the comments below, and we can get around to them all at some point in time. Don't forget you can catch me from Monday to Friday here on Cubcam TV, presenting Brecky in the Cave from 10 till 11.30 in the morning. See you next time, guys. Peace.